Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see some of the online tools that are useful for testing our regular expression syntax. So normally in our course, this regular expression course, we will be using this regexpal. So we can also use some other uh, online tools also. Just I will be using this regexpal. And in this one, we will try to test our regular, regular expression syntax and all those things. And also here, so let's try to see this one. We try to see here so these all things and here also let's try to remove here if you try to open this website will something like looks like this regex span and here you'll be able to see the syntax so the whatever the regular expression pattern we want to write it we can write in in between these forward slashes and g you also know about this flag thing so there is nothing but a global flag we try to see here you also have another flag something like ignore case and also a multi line case of. here whatever the string you want to write so you can write it here so that the regular expression pattern will apply into in this string and here if you want to save the regular expression so if you have written a pattern in a such a way that you want to save this regular expression you can give the name and you can save that regular expression and here you will be able to see the top regular expression so if you want to get the any top regular expression means so you can see only letters and numbers so match whole worlds these are these are all the things we can simple date format so these are all the things you will be able to see so most popular most popular regular expressions uh, which are used means so you can you can get it here and also at, at the bottom you are having a cheat sheet also cheat sheet means so this is nothing but the commonly used uh, regular expressions uh, syntax and all those things if you want to take a look at so you can use this cheat sheet and here let's try to see some of the example and here the the, uh, the selection i have kept is a javascript as we are learning about the javascript now let's try to write an uh, text string and let's try to see here the pattern we will try to apply to this string so here i am using hello world is Jela web dev the string i am trying to write it here now i want to check something like E L. Now, as we are having a global flag here, so we are able to see that E L has appeared in this string two times. And if you try to remove this global flag, and here you will be able to see only the E L. So that means only the first match you will be able to see it. Same thing which we have seen in our earlier sessions. Now, if I try, if I if I check this global thing, so it will try to match the whole number of matches, the total matches, how many it has matched in this string. Now, for example, let's say that we are having capital E here. Now, this one will not be matching. Why? Because so as this one is a case insensitive. So if you want to add this case insensitive means now if you can use this one flag and you can use this case insensitiveness. So it's by default it's a case sensitive. Now you will be able to see the ELN. Now, one thing what I want to tell you is so here in the regular expression, so how this regular expression actually works. So just try to see, I will try to explain you how it actually works here. So how it works is actually it will take one, one by one, one string and it will try to match the pattern. So with the first string and if it doesn't, if it matches means it will try to give the match. If it doesn't match means if the pattern breaks means it will go, it will rewind back and it will start from the next string onwards, next letter onwards. I will try to explain you. For example, let's say that here we are having a pattern of EL. And here let's say that hello world this is our string so now first it will take the h so it will check that whether the pattern is matching with the h or not so it is not matching <clears throat> so what it will try to do is it is not matching now what it will try to do is so it will leave this h and it will go to the next word so now it will it will take this e letter and it will try to see that pattern it is matching or not so yes it is matching and it will hold up this one and it will go to the next string and let's try to see that that combining this e and l whether it is matching or not so the whole pattern is matching matching me so now it will give you a complete match so one match has been found now after completing this one it will go again after e from e it is completed right now it will go to the l thing so it will try to check that whether it is matching or not not matching no then it will go to the l o so like this when when for v whatever the match it is trying to match it will try to see it so now it found it here when we come here e it is found it has found it so for example let's say that e here it has found it okay 
so when it is found the e catching this one it will go to the next key next le next letter to find the match combiningly but it is not matching so it is having e whereas we need to check for the l so now it will go back again so after this e it will go to the capital e it is matching and it will go to the l it is matching so s so then el will be an another match then again it will go to the l so e uh, catching e it has finished now it will go to the l and it will do like this so like this it will go on so taking one by one one letter so matching the pattern so like this it will go one by one and it will try to match this one so this is how actually the regular expression works it so now up to now what we have seen so here we have seen only the simple patterns only so that means so for uh, let's say that i want to find e means so here we are able to find whatever the e letter having in this string so that means this is a simple simple pattern but if you try to see our regular syntax and all those things so you'll be having multiple patterns so so many different types of syntax you'll be able to observe it so not only the single single pattern something like character based so we are trying to see it is a character based things so these are very simple things which we can find it very easily but you'll be having a regular syntax if you try to take is so you'll be having so many different types of syntax you'll be able to see so those are nothing but called as a meta characters okay so not only these simple characters we will be having some meta characters on so those meta characters if i try to tell you so it will be something like i will try to exp i will try to write it here the meta characters will be some of the meta characters will be something like pow, pow. so here i can take the dollar something like these are the some of the special characters we will be having question mark is equal to like this or symbol so forward slash and backward slash and uh, parenthesis square bracket and the braces so like this you will be having some of the uh, meta characters so these are called as a meta characters instead of using this normal characters you can also use this meta characters the combination of this meta characters you will try you will try to write the most complex regular expression pattern so in in our series we'll try to learn about these patterns uh, about these uh, meta characters also but you need to understand that so all the times if you try to see outside uh, the regular expression patterns and all those things if you try to find it so you will come across this type of meta characters like dollar symbol dot star plus question mark so these are all the different types of patterns you will try to see so you are try to see this one so if you try to see first time that one you will be able to understand it is very difficult for us to debug so what it is actually trying to find that one in the text it is very difficult for us but you have, if you understand what is this meta characters actually doing with the combination of characters means then you can easily identify and you can easily write this code so if you know these all the things so now we will try to learn about this meta characters also one by one so then afterwards you will try to understand it so hope you understood about this one so this tool and also this meta characters and how the regular expression actually works so simple for my characters things so we have seen it so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you